What's up y'all? It's Ren or Moody Ren and I just finished my final exam for the fall semester, my first fall semester at Rowan University. So I thought I'd take you guys on a little journey to tour that building down there. Bozarth Hall. That is the film, radio, and television building that houses Cinema Workshop Club, which is the film club where we make and watch movies. I am involved in this club and let me tell you, I love it. I'm very passionate about it. I even just ran for promotions manager. Unfortunately, I didn't win, but it was a great experience. Um, Cinema Workshop teaches you so many things. What I wanted to tell you guys about was some of the cool projects that we got to work on this semester. We got to do some film fests, uh, those are like short weekends where we film some short films. Everything's pretty short, uh, but I believe in the spring there will be bigger projects coming. So uh, let's take a look. For real life? Here we have the Cinema Workshop Bulletin Board, which gets updated weekly by the promotions manager. Here's our awesome logo our awesome e-board and here are the official announcements oh and that was our holiday party we played white elephant it was pretty fun and here's movie nights be sure to check us out on vimeo and instagram here's the office for cinema workshop right over here is the office for rtn rowan television network RTN is Cinema Workshop's sister club that covers live events like sports and music events. One of their productions I got to see firsthand this past semester was their reoccurring Rowan's Got Talent event. I witnessed the sound team setting up microphones and working behind a mixing board for live sound. Real life? This is where all the magic happens. This is King's Auditorium, where our weekly cinema workshop meetings take place. During these meetings, we cover announcements such as upcoming film fests. Now, these film fests happen on a very tight schedule. Production teams are given only one or two days to complete a short film, such as the two four minute long silent films that we shot in one weekend. My favorite production was Where Do They All Go? A five minute horror comedy murder mystery. This was the very first film shoot that I was a part of within Cinema Workshop, and my job was sound mixer. As sound mixer, I got to combine my music industry major and my love for film. An on-set sound mixer must have a well-trained ear in order to estimate at what level the sound being received should be. Voices that are too loud will result in clipping, which won't be good for the final product. I learned that sound mixers must also be able to collaborate with other members of the production team. Before each scene, there are a series of actions that lead up to the final and action. Following the initial command of quiet on set, the sound mixer must respond to the command of sound with the word speed to let the crew know that the sound recording device is set up and ready to record the actor's lines. It's only after the sound is set that the scene can be slated. Scene one, take one, and action. The sound mixer plays a very crucial role on set, but that's not the only music related position in the film industry. Music supervisors also play a very big part when it comes to combining audio and video. A music supervisor is in charge of seeking out artists and music that will match the scenes of the TV show or film being worked on. In the case of our Cinema Workshop productions, there wasn't exactly one designated music supervisor. The whole team gave suggestions for what music should be used in each film, which was especially important for the silent films. For those, we had to convey through music what we couldn't convey through words. This process of selecting which sounds to add to the project in post-production was something I had just learned in my business of music class called music synchronization. Here at Cinema Workshop, I got to see how my lessons could be applied to real-life situations. Rowan gave me the opportunity to put my lessons on music synchronization to action, but this wasn't the first place where I heard about this aspect of the music and film industry. I first learned about placing music in TV and film through Building Beats' two-part workshop, appropriately titled Placing Music for TV and Film, with Samuel Lee and Miss Madley during the 2022 fall-winter cohort. During these workshops, we not only learned about the process of using different songs for video, but also how to get your songs as a musical artist placed in these medias. Topics such as sync licensing, copywriting, pitching, and PROs, which are publishing rights organizations such as ASCAP and BMI, were covered in both Building Beats workshops and my own classes at Rowan. 
Building Beats helped give me a solid foundation for my career as a music industry major at Rowan and the related positions that I have here within Cinema Workshop and my radio projects. Yep, that's still going strong. These are just some of the projects that I've been working on here at Rowan University. I hope you enjoyed my vlog and were able to get some insight on how Building Beats helped me to combine music and film in the entertainment industry and how you can too. Thanks for joining me today. Bye!